It's time for two comic book mystery boxes. We have the Torpedo Comics Boom Mystery Box. So these were 50 bucks a piece. And the guy on the front of this, his name I think is Steve. So if this is supposed to be comics from his personal collection, you know, will they actually be from his personal collection? I don't know, but that's just kind of like the theme of this box is Steve's personal collection comics. It probably like maybe like one comic in each box might be from his collection. The rest is probably just from Torpedo Comics. So this is my first time doing the famous boom box. I'm kind of excited to see what 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 are in these. I know I bought some of the Vault 2.0 boxes and they were you know they you know, they're okay. So hopefully these boom boxes are better than the Vault 2.0 boxes. We'll find out. Broke the factory seal. They actually do have a really cool like Torpedo Comics factory seal on it. Just gonna reach in, feel around a little bit. Okay, you open it up. Everything is wrapped in paper, so it keeps the mystery alive a little bit longer. I think, if I remember correctly, from what I've been told, if you get like one of the big big hits, they tape a Polaroid photograph to the lid of this box, and then you contact them, you show them the the like the Polaroid. And then they'll send you the comic because a lot of times the comics graded and graded comics won't fit in this box so i think that's pretty i'm not sure if this box is doing the same way but i think the vault 2.0 boxes they had to do with like a photograph if you didn't get a polaroid then you didn't get one of the big hits so i don't know if it's still going on with this one now so this looks pretty nicely wrapped looks like quite a bit of bubble wrap well protected and it is wrapped up a second time so I don't know if there's supposed to be any trade paperbacks or any hard covers I don't know um, but I'm trying to figure out which side should I open up first okay so right on top here actually is a trade paperback let's flip it open over oh, flip it over to start with kind of see what we're working with so the first comic right on top we've got the cosmic avenger quasar so the back of this is actually a handwritten note on the back of it okay let's actually check this out it looks like the top comic must be like my main hit like i just <laughs> Pull out my, my main hit on top. So the next box, I'll go from the bottom to, to the front. So we have a card by Steve that he autographed. Then the back of this. Oh, there's two comics in here. Okay. So the back of this looks like he wrote a letter. Like an, like an actual handwritten note. It says, okay, first thing first, congratulations on getting this special two. Two-pack Quasar 1 and 2. Featuring the work of Mark Guerrero, I think is what it says, and Pam Ryan. Quasar was my favorite comic of the entire 1990s. Nothing comes close. Enjoy, Steve. Then it says, boom. So, Quasar number one and Quasar number two. Like he said, these are from his personal collection. I mean, I, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know. Okay, so yeah, so these aren't really very big or anything, but okay. Okay, that's not bad. The next one, though, is kind of freaking awesome. We have an autograph comic. This is actually going to be the one that I'm going to keep out of this whole thing. The Batman Who Laughs, number one. Freaking autographed. Back of that certificate authenticity on it. This says, cover A, Batman Who Laughs, number one, torpedo variant. Signed by Tony Daniel, October 5th, 2019. I got a value of about 40 bucks. And, yeah, this book right here. I mean, this almost pays for the entire box just this one comic right here so i'm actually pretty happy with this one i'm very happy with that so next one we have another this is another uh i keep peek oh the next one's kind of awesome okay okay next one's kind of awesome um i keep peeking but it's looking up i can't help it so this is wonder woman number 750 this is the torpedo comics cover exclusive they actually got a few exclusives for just their comic shop and that's one of them 
pretty cool book. This next one, we've got The New Mutants, number 86. This is a old Liefeld Mc, McFarlane cover with uh, the vulture on it. Very cool comic. I do not have this one. This will go straight into my collection. I'm extremely happy for 50 bucks to get out these two right here. These two right here are worth every dime that I paid for this box. So I'm actually, I'm I'm pleased with the value in this box. This, this value was much better than the Vault 2.0 in my opinion. And the last one is Captain Adam Armageddon trade paperback. I might check it out actually. So yeah, that's the first box. I'm actually pleased with it. I'm happy with that first box. That was actually a pretty good box. Okay, we got one more box to go still. Second box. It's like the first one actually does have a Torpedo Comics like sticker, like or like a seal on it. So you know it has not been tampered with, you know, and that, that's been switched out and it's been opened up. So I actually need to get me some some of these for my my stuff that that I sell. Some exclusive franchise kicks like seals. That's actually pretty cool. And then broke the seal. Now now I do know to go from the back to the front because the front has looks like you're going to be your main hit your comic from Steve's collection. I know I was watching, I think it was Wink Inc. on YouTube, watching one of his boxes of this, and he got out, which one, he, his comic from Steve's collection was actually a pretty big comic, worth like 150 bucks, I think it was. He got out a pretty big hit in his comic box. For 50 bucks, he got out a very nice hit. I don't remember which comic it was though, but yeah, so there, there are some pretty good hits available in these boxes. Once again, it's wrapped up. Okay, and we will go from the back to the front. Okay, so back comic. We have a hardcover. Captain America, The New Deal. Actually, I got this exact same hardcover out of the Vault 2.0 box. This exact same one that's still factory sealed. So yeah, I got two of these to sell now because I don't really keep keep the hardbacks because I just don't have room for you know hardback comics. But yeah, it's not bad though. Next one, is it awesome? We got all new, all different Avengers number one variant edition. So this is a little bit of a newer Avengers. It looks like. I'm not sure when this one was actually made. The back cover said 2015. Okay. So, yeah, this has actually a little bit of a spine damage on it. But, yeah, okay. But this is pretty much, this is just, it's just a common book anyways. It's not really, not supposed to be one of your main hits or anything. Next one. Is it awesome? Oh, nice. I actually got this same book out of a That Spider-Man book, uh, or That Spider-Man booth mystery box. But, yeah, this is a really cool cover. You're the villain, the Joker. This is a, is this like a one in 50 or like a one in 100 variant cover? It's a pretty hard one to get. It actually sells for some pretty decent money too. So that's actually a pretty nice book right there to get out of this box. Pretty cool. Next one, the bag has a certificate of authenticity on the back of it. And it is. Oh, double signed. It says it's worth like 50 bucks. This says, okay, I'll show you. There's the certificate on the back of it. Fantastic Four, number one, Ramos variant, signed by Dan Slott and Humberto Ramos on February 8th, 2020. So freaking a double sign, Fantastic Four, number one. That's actually a nice hit right there. It's actually a really nice hit. So this next comic is going to be the one that is actually from Steve's collection. Are you ready for this? Hopefully something kind of big. Here we go. Three, two, one. One. Show the camera first. And we have. Oh, oh, that's okay. Fantastic Four number 156. That is a much older comic. It's graded a very fine plus 8.5. I'll take that in a heartbeat. Let me see how much it's actually worth. Okay, so this 
there's not a first appearance or anything, but it is. It does have Doctor Doom and Silver Surfer appearances in this. Looks like in an 8.5 grade on eBay, it sells for about 10 bucks. An 8.5 grade, like a V, like like a VF would be like five bucks. Um, See, so yeah, this is probably worth about ten dollars. So they had it valued at fifty dollars. I think that's a little bit high on that. Cause I'm seeing grades of an 8.5 going for about 10 bucks. So still, I mean, it's a nice hit. I'm actually pleased with this box though. I'm pleased. My favorite one out of this is actually the double signed comic. Um, that's actually nice. And then we got the Joker variant cover. So, I mean, yeah, this box is worth every bit of $50. So I'm happy with the contents in these two boxes. So yeah, these were much better than the Vault 2.0 in my personal opinion. I'm happy with these. So yeah, whenever they put the boom boxes on sale again, I will definitely be buying some more. So I'll see you next time. I'm out.